Hey guys, this is the Savior and today I'm starting a little series. It's called Best Custom ROM. I'll test top 10 custom ROMs currently present on my device in different stages. This video is about the custom ROMs on Moto G second generation. In the first part, I'm going to do benchmark tests which consists of 3 tests on each custom ROM. Then I'll compare the scores and I know benchmark isn't everything when you determine a custom ROM. But then, I'll be conducting more tests in the coming part. To make it simple, there are multiple stages, 10 custom ROMs, elimination on each stage, until we reach the best custom ROM. First stage is benchmarking. These are pure custom ROMs, no tweaks or modifications. No G apps installed, just pure custom ROMs as provided by the developers. First benchmarking application is Antutu Benchmark. It runs various tests itself. First up is UX, that is user experience. It is divided into two subcategories, multitasking and runtime. Multitasking is pretty obvious and the runtime score represents how well Android Salvik or Art Runtime runs application. Then comes RAM. It tests how fast your random access memory is in operating and incorporates all read and write speeds that the RAM can handle. After that is the CPU. It, in simple terms, a faster CPU can run apps faster and can also handle applications or games that are more demanding. This test just checks how fast the CPU performs. A majorly important test after CPU performance is the GPU. Graphics processing unit handles accelerated graphics. Its major role is when you play games, it renders both 3D and 2D graphics. This basically tests how good the GPU is in handling all sorts of graphics operation. Be it simple, transitions, animations or 3D graphics of any high-end game. Last but not least comes I.O. I.O stands for input output which reflects the device's internal storage speeds. Everything is stored on internal storage so this test checks how fast can your device read and write data from and into the memory. Second application that we are using for benchmark is Linpack. It tests how fast the device is in improving calculations and performing them. This test has major dependency on software as compared to the hardware because it's all about Java code. So you can see the results. The third application we are using here is Quadrant Benchmarks. It's similar to Antutu. Uh, it also runs similar tests in its own way. These tests include processor, memory, input output, 2D graphics and 3D graphics. All of these are covered up in 21 tests, I guess. Now this is the final scoreboard of all custom ROMs. You can pause the video here and check individual scores. Otherwise let's move on to the rankings. I gave ROMs the rankings based upon their respective scores and summed up some final ranks. So you can have a view. Last two ROMs are eliminated in this test and the next test will be conducted with the top 8 ROMs. That will be multitasking and loading times. You'll see it in the next part. So that will be all for this video. Please leave suggestions so that I can improve in coming parts of this series. Till then, take care and I'll see you guys in the next one.